Hey guys, Frank here. Today I want to talk about a templating, uh, I don't want to call it an issue per se, but an issue in Hearthstone. And it's tiny, it's minor, it's not a big deal, but it is something interesting that I've noticed and uh, points to maybe them not having a uh, specific style guide set up for how they're writing their cards or how they're uh, representing them in the game. And for those who don't know, I have uh, my, my background, I guess you want to say, uh, I have a an English degree, and I was the editor for TCG Player for about seven years. So a good long time. So I, I kind of note, I'm not saying this uh, makes me any more credible than anyone else, but uh, it does It does help me notice little things like this when I'm looking at cards, when I'm reading cards. Uh, and card games are interesting because the exact wording is very, very relevant in how things function and how they interact with other things. So you want to be as precise and as consistent as possible, which is why style guides and uh, consistent templating is important in games like Hearthstone or Magic or what have you. And I noticed this yesterday. Uh, there's an original version of Isara that is worded like this. And so as you can see, it says, at the end of your turn, draw a dream card. And so I looked at this and I was like, draw a dream card? This is basically, this ability is the same as the Lich King's ability, which says, you know, you're basically drawing a Death Knight card. They're both going into your hand. Uh, they're not coming from your deck. They're coming from some random, you know, some Aether. The Aether. 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 And, you know, the, this this effect should basically, I assume, be programmed the same way. So it should be templated the same way as well. And also functions the same way. So I checked, and it turns out Isera actually has an updated text, which says at the end of your turn, add a dream card to your hand. So so functionally different. So cards, this is this is functionally different in the sense that if there's a card in Hearthstone that says whenever you draw a card, do X. Like if, like you know, if, if it, whenever an opponent draws a card, they lose a life or lose a health or whatever. Um, that's not going to trigger anymore based on this new templating. So, okay, I was like, wow, that's, okay, that's different. Is that more similar to the new Lich King templating? Let's find out. At the end of your turn, add a dream card to your hand. Okay, so actually, I find no flaws with the way this is written. Like, this is actually just fine. Uh, but then you look at the Lich King, and it says, at the end of your turn, add a random Death Knight card to your hand. And there are two differences here. One is that this says add a random Death Knight card to your hand. Isera just says add a dream card to your hand. But both are random. There is no... Uh, there's no order for Isera's dream cards that go into your hand from this ability. They just, yeah, it could be the three five with, uh, you know, can't be targeted. It could be return a guy to, you know, you know, the hand. It could be anything. It could be any of those, any of those dream cards, right? Um, the other, the other notable difference is Death Knight because it's kind of a card type, quote unquote, uh, is is bold. And if you look at other things, uh, like say Taunt. Or, you know, like, give a friendly minion plus four plus four and taunt. Taunt is in bold because it's a key word. Death Knight in bold. It's a key word. So things like that. You know, Divine Shield would be in bold. Give adjacent minions Divine Shield in bold. You know, so if, if it's a key word or if it's a word that needs to stand out, it's in, it's in bold. Which is why Death Knight is in bold. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. Which makes me think, okay, so either Isera should say a random dream card in bold to your hand or lich king should not say random and should not be bold those are the two those are the two discrepancies uh off the bat the third one there's one one final discrepancy which is it's less it's less relevant the other one is you can see death knight card card is lowercase here dream card card is uppercase here so dream card is what we're referring to the card as like this is a dream card However, Death Knight card should also be what we're referring to the Death Knight cards as. Death Knight card, Dream card. If you're going to capitalize one, you should capitalize both. If you're not going to capitalize one, you should capitalize neither. So if we look for the word card here, traditionally, card is not... Well, see, the thing is, like, this is referencing a specific card type. So if card is a part of the name, which I don't think it should be, then you capitalize it. But ideally, it's not part of the name, which is why the Lich King, which is in a much more recent expansion than Isera is not capitalized. I think I think that's that's an agreement, right? So not part of the name Death Knight is the name of the card. It is a card. That's that's the end of it, right? So Ysera should have some template updating where you add random, you highlight dream and you lowercase card. 
So three separate issues on one card, which is interesting. But the fact that this exists makes me wonder if there is an internal style guide or a, a way that cards like this uh, should be templated consistently. Because add a, like add a Death Knight card or a Dream card is not a very common thing. So you have like add a random dragon to your hand and you can see dragon is capitalized and it doesn't say card here. And the reason that is because dragon specifies a creature. There are no dragon spells as of yet. So if you want to go a little further down the rabbit hole, you can see things like this on Cabal Chemist where it says add a random potion to your hand. So random is still being represented here as recently as Mean Streets of Gadget Sand. And then Potion, not bolded, but right next to it we have Death Knight, bolded. Also, no card afterwards. So, it, it seems to me that when a card in Hearthstone is creating something else, whether it's a Death Knight card, a Potion, um, a Dragon, a... Well, see, the thing, is about, the thing about Dragons is that Dragons aren't being created here, right? They're just, you're finding one that already exists in the game. So, when you're, when you're creating something like a Death Knight card, a Potion card or a dream card there's a distinction there between death knights and dreams are cards whereas a potion is not necessarily a card it's just a potion which is interesting see add a random but now see here we go again which was the old gods we have add a random toxin card to your hand which is interesting because now we're back to card this is a card again so card again you can actually wear this so Add a random potion to your hand. Add a random toxin card to your hand. So there's there's this mishmash of some of these abilities having the word random attached, some of them being bolded, and some of them saying card at the end of them. And there's no real consistency. Even on Isera, we have a, a sub-level of inconsistency where she says, add a dream card to your hand, no random, and the card is capitalized. So that's like a sub-layer of, of inconsistency. All of this is to say that like these cards function properly within the game. You know what they're going to do. You know what you're getting out of them. If you know all the potions or toxins or death knights or dreams, you're going you're gonna to be fine and you're going to be able to uh, intuit what you may or may not get. But it's just an interesting thing that, that I kind of notice as, uh, as an editor who's someone who's, who's analyzed words for the past six, seven years and who thinks templating and consistency within games is super important. So I just thought I would point that out to you guys, and maybe you'd find it interesting too, because things like this happen. At the end of the day, games like this are uh, written and coded by human beings, and we're prone to make mistakes, especially in situations like this that rely on uh, small, minute details. You know, so uh, when you have to look at every single card that says add X to your hand in order to maintain the consistency, it's not always the easiest thing to do. But, uh, you know, there's ways, there's ways to do it. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see some of these wordings cleaned up in the future. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your, your patronage, and I'll see you next time.